Okay, so they sent me home with a few bits, just a few. Um, so, and this is other than what I've actually got stored everywhere anyway, so we're not really sure where to put all of it. So I've got my blood taking bottles, the vacuums that you use for that, syringes, I think I've got sterile flushes. There's my Hickman, it's a little bit um, dramatic looking at the moment, I need to, as I said, I need to get um, some smaller sort of dressings on it, and that there is just where they cut the jugular, um, but it does look a little bit, I don't go out like that, it's embarrassing, for a start it looks like a pair of damn headphones, it's all taped up at the moment, but normally it's kind of dangling but I had a shower so I didn't want them dangling in the shower as I would be in trouble so normally they dangle a bit like that which is not ideal with a rabbit so I shall be tucking those in safely and making sure that they are clamped in care pack and the tegaderm, which is a bit smaller than my tegaderm actually, because my tegaderm is really big. So it kind of makes what's on you look slightly more dramatic than actually what it is. So the, um, I'm going to like those. So I'm going to ask if my ancillary list will provide the smaller tegaderm. Could be nice. Chloral prep. Stick. For cleaning the Hickman line. Um, more catheter supplies, which I don't really need. But I did say that, because I've got a ton of them. And bio patches. Are you okay, Benki? It's my little buddy. Are you okay? Should we do your medications? Because you've got about as much as I have. Right pair, aren't we? So here's my little nice neat jugular cut, which looks way less dramatic than what it feels. Because I tell you what, oh boy, does it hurt. I'll give it a clean. I had the stitches out yesterday, so let's get it all nice and clean. You see that little lump around here, the lines inserted down here into the jugular, and then it travels along here, that's what all this lumpiness is, and then comes out down here. So. But this is where it actually all starts. I get the picture in the mirror a little bit easier. There you can see all the lumpiness where it's coming through from the neck and then down. And then it exits here and then stitch back up in there. It's pretty grim actually. Ugh. It's a little That's the cut. There's some bruising over there as well. I didn't see that. And then the bruising comes down. It's very lumpy under there. It's because they do it in a S shape underneath. And then bring it back out down there. But anyway, I do have something really exciting. That I found extremely exciting. That I have... An arm. Look, I have an arm without a pick. Look, look, look. Patrick's gone. He's gone. Are you alright, Susie? Yep, I have a free arm. So this is what the bathroom did look like with all the bits and pieces, but we're trying to. We've got to find a way now to try and store everything. There's no room upstairs because. Upstairs we have the blood fridge and all the bits and pieces in the bedroom and the heart monitor and the transmitter and all of that. So the shower room is kind of handy to um, store everything but away from the toilet because we don't really want anything by the loo, eh? Okay Susie, are you happy mummy's home? Say please.
Say please. Say please. 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 Yeah, it's half-hearted please. More of a snort one.